everyone, how are you? All right, here we go. We are going to start painting these Jumbo Craft Hearts, okay? I need to prep these, okay? Styrofoam is very porous. You, when you paint, it just soaks it in. So you have to primer it first. Now I don't have, I don't know what happened to my gesso, but I don't have my gesso, so I'm using this paint. And it's a thick paint. It's more expensive, but the pigment for different colors is wonderful. Like for instance, usually um, red, when you're trying to do a fake bake, or you're trying to get a really red color, reds usually turn pink. Because red and white, well, you're gonna get a pastel. You're gonna get a pastel if you put white with any color, it's gonna become more pastel. So these, and these are the basics from Hobby Lobby, they're $5.99. But the pigment, you can get a true red if you're using star, um, not styrofoam, uh, spackle, lightweight spackle. So I love that. So I am gonna to dry because it is thicker but it's gonna give me a better coat. Cause if you see here, how I'm doing this, it is a better coat. I might go twice on it, but I need this to be primered before I come in with my pencil and start making my checks. But I think this is gonna be really cute after the embellishments and everything else goes on it to hang up like I did my Christmas bells. So I'm going to continue to paint this, primer it, let it dry, and then I'll be back and we'll start checking. Painted the puffy hearts, okay, from Dollar Tree. We're going to make some checked hearts. So this one I still have to check, but I've gotten this one done, okay? So you can see a little bit of what's happening there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll start painting this and then I will go back and check that one. So real quick, I just wanna see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven rows, just so I remember, okay? All right, so now, I'm just gonna take my brush and put some black paint. Man, why is this paint so thick? All right, and I've already marked where my black will go. I'm gonna go ahead. You wanna get in that corner. And like I said before, when you're doing something like this, always paint it white and then do your black checks, because if you, for whatever reason, wanted to paint it all black first, it's gonna take a lot of white to cover that black. So you don't wanna do that. But I think these are gonna be really pretty once they're done. And then what's gonna to add to it is the embellishing. Brush seems so stiff. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through all the checks with you. I'm just going to go through a few. I hope you're able to see that.
I may need to go over this twice. Just do this one, then I'll go check I'm not using the black color that I use normally. So if I remember right, I think I I ran out of it. Can see how far I've come so far and these are so hard to work with and I don't want to poke a hole to hold it you know what I mean but this is a little challenging holding it okay so I'm almost done this And I'll probably have to go over these. The black, because this paint isn't that great. It isn't the normal paint that I use. But it's the only one I could find. I still have to check the other heart. So I'll do that when I'm done here. Okay guys, there it is. Now I'm going to get the other one and start doing that and then I'll be back as soon as I get that checks. Okay. And I really don't like this particular black that much, but the one that I use, I don't have any, look how thick that is. Um, this is ceramic coat. I think what I use is folk art, if I'm not mistaken, normally lamp black. All right, so you're gonna come up in the corner because this one's black. I'm just gonna show you a couple. I'm not gonna keep you here the whole time. You want those ends to be sharp. That's why you use this brush. And I learned this from those corners to touch. But you see how this doesn't um, really cover well? The folk art covers really good. So today, I think I'm going to go ahead. I gotta get some pipe cleaners anyway for a wreath that I'm making for Valentine. Okay, I'm back. This one's done, okay? And I went ahead and I checked this one. And that was just by taking a ruler, finding my middle, taking a ruler and making, you know, the squares. Then what I do, and you really don't have to do this with every one of them, but I come in where I'm gonna do the black, because I'm since I painted this, I'm gonna leave the white, obviously, white. And then I take 
a pencil and just put a B for black. But like I said, once you do a couple of them, you really don't need to mark them. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, level two, number six. Level two, number six. Okay, so I started making my um, checks, okay? I'm not gonna keep you for the whole duration of this. There's no sense in it. Once you see a couple of them, Then we're going to embellish this. With some ribbon. Make a little holder so I can hang these like I did my bells for Christmas on over my mantle. Okay, I'll be back after I'm almost done with this. I'm gonna go over it a second time because this isn't covering the way I want, but it will, because look at this one. I had to do two coats. Now, if I had my regular, um, I believe it's the folk art, it would have probably covered in one, one coat, but this isn't and I don't want it looking like that. So I'll be back when I'm almost done with this. Okay, I'm going to take the glue Put some down in. Okay, I have my paint and I have this brush down here and I'm just going to use it. I wouldn't normally use this. I'd use um, a different brush, but it's down here and I don't need much. Really, you're dry brushing and dry brushing is where you'll hit the bristles into the paint, but then you take off almost everything you put on. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but... That's what you do. So let's just take, there's still too much on that I can tell. Um, you can take your brush and just, see that? As you can see, it's hardly anything. It's just a very light, if you can see that. And that's why you take off the majority of, and some can be a little bit more, it's your own preference. Okay, so that's that for that one. Do this one. 
and our ribbon's still drying. This one I'll go a little bit harder. See how you can see the white a little bit more? And that's it. That's all I'm doing with it. Then we'll come back and we'll put our ribbon. And if we want to put some scatters on the ribbon, glue it on, we'll do that too. We'll do whatever we want because we can, right? Okay, I'll be back. Okay. I just put a little bit of a thin ribbon and I did one shiny and one brushed. And that's all I'm gonna do. I didn't like the thicker ribbon. It was too much. In, from, in my opinion, it was too much. So I just did the, the heart ribbon and a little bit of the golden white. Then I'm gonna hang these up and then I'll bring you over to show you.